Meghan and Harry's daughter Lilibet will meet Queen in perfect opportunity. The Queen will meet a great granddaughter, Lilibet, claimed royal expert Nick Willen in a throwback podcast a question. That many have been asking after the news emerged that Harry will not return to the UK for Prince Philip's memorial this month. On Saturday, Harry's spokesperson announced. The Duke of Sussex would not be attending the Duke of Edinburgh's memorial service in London on the 29th of March. Though a reason was not given for the planned absence, in February Harry pursued a legal challenge against the Home Office. After the government ruled that the prince would no longer receive the same degree of security when visiting the UK, Harry's legal representative had previously told the High Court that the Duke wants his children to visit the UK. But he does not feel safe when visiting under current security arrangements. He is currently in a battle to win the right to pay for police protection for him and his family. Harry lives with his wife Meghan Markel, and their two children Archie and Lilibert in Montecito, California. The Sussexes quit the royal family and moved abroad in 2020 and, since, Harry has only returned to the UK twice. The Phillips funeral in April 2021 and to unveil a statue of his late mother Princess Diana three months later. Last June, Meghan gave birth to the couple's second child, Lilibet, who is eighth in the line of succession. However she is yet to have visited her father's homeland and has not yet met the Queen or her grandfather, Prince Charles, in person. Royal expert Mr. Bullen insisted that the Queen will meet Lilibet and that Harry and Meghan remain much-loved family members. He told the Royally As podcast, the Queen will definitely meet a great granddaughter. I think she really would want to. As the Queen has always said, Harry and Meghan are much loved members of the family and I think the Queen rises above all of this. This is her family, they are her grandchildren and great grandchildren, of course she wants to meet them. Lilibet was named after the Queen's childhood nickname. The Queen's parents, King George of E.I. and the Queen Mother, would often refer to a young Princess Elizabeth as Lilibet. As an infant, Her Majesty is said to have been unable to pronounce Elizabeth, which led to the endearing moniker. Despite Harry and Meghan having paid homage to the Queen when naming their daughter, the Sussexes have had tension with the royal family since they quit the firm. The strained relationship was damaged further by Harry and Meghan's tell-all CBS interview with Oprah Winfrey, in which the couple were critical of royal life and made a number of claims against the firm. Nevertheless, Mr. Bullen added, I think Prince Charles really wants to meet his granddaughter. Prince Charles is incredibly sad, I'm sure, about everything that's gone on, so the family will want to meet each other. I think again, the Jubilee is a perfect opportunity for that, because if Harry and Meghan do come back to the Jubilee, and I'm sure they will because they have to be seen to be supporting the Queen, it's a great moment for everyone to be together. Everyone's going to have to play nicely and behave well because, again, it's the Queen's moment. The Queen's Platinum Jubilee year will culminate with four days of celebration from the 2nd of June to the 5th of June. This will include a service of thanksgiving at St Paul's Cathedral and a special live concert at Buckingham Palace. Despite the upcoming Jubilee, Royal Expert Richard Fitzwilliams has a different perspective. Claiming it is increasingly unlikely Lilibert would meet the Queen, after Harry pulled out of Philip's memorial service. Speaking to the Sun, Mr Fitzwilliams said. I think this was expected because of the issue with security, obviously, he would have wanted to come if he could. I think it's a great pity, what this means is it's regrettable, that, the rift will remain unhealed. When asked about whether the Queen would meet a great granddaughter, he added, it's increasingly unlikely. If they don't bring Lily over then obviously that won't happen. It's all something that's clearly not going to be resolved in the foreseeable future. It doesn't seem like they're going to come over. The spokesperson added that Harry hopes to visit his grandmother, the Queen soon. The Duke of Sussex had previously applied for a judicial review of a Home Office decision. Not to allow him to personally pay for police protection for himself and his family. When they are in the UK after being told he would no longer be given the same degree of personal protective security when visiting from the US. He wanted to bring his children, Archie, two, and eight-month-old Lilibet, to visit from the US but he and his family are unable to return to his home because it is too dangerous, a legal representative for the Duke previously said. The Duke's legal representative QC Shahid Fatima said at the time that it goes without saying.
that he does want to come back to see family and friends and to continue to support the charities that are so close to his heart. Harry and Meghan lost their taxpayer-funded police protection in the aftermath of quitting as senior working royals in early 2020. He briefly returned from California in 2021 for the July unveiling of the Diana, Princess of Wales Memorial statue. And, the day before he met seriously ill children and young people at a well child garden party and afternoon tea in Kew Gardens, West London. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, would you please help us like, share and subscribe our channel. Wish you happy to see our videos, thank you very much.